Howdy everybody, uh, it's Brian, back for another video, uh, hopefully less clumsy than the last one. Uh, I just wanted to start out by shamelessly plugging my Indiegogo campaign for Six Gun Gorilla Long Days of Vengeance. Uh, if you uh, want to back this campaign, or just check it out, see if it's something that you do want to back, check the link below, click on that, it'll take you to the Indiegogo campaign page, and you will be able to watch a motion ca motion comic trailer and also uh, download the entire first 24 page issue and make sure that this is something that uh, tickles your fancy and something that you would want to uh, put your money behind. Uh, it's going to be a 144 page trade paperback that's going to contain these first six issues. And uh, I'm excited about it. A lot of other people are excited about it. I should mention that the book has been critically acclaimed. So anyway, uh, the uh, shameless self-plugging out of the way. Let me get to the uh, topic at hand, which is Indiegogo campaigns. Uh, what I have learned from them so far. Okay. Uh, the... First bit of um, information I would share is uh, timing is important. It's not everything, but it is important. You don't want to start your campaign in December. That's going to be bad news. Uh, I may be wrong about this or slightly off, but I believe that the peak time to launch your Indiegogo campaign is usually around spring. I launched mine uh, just, uh, what? two months ago. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, it did reasonably well, but it wasn't doing as well as I liked because I'd set my goal a little higher than I should have. I was setting it for $15,000. Don't do that. Set it for something more reasonable, like 3000 You set a very reasonable goal. People are going to understand that you're going to be likely to reach it and that they're going to get their books. So once you get past that 3,000, that's when the numbers start ticking up. That's when people start throwing money at you, generally speaking, because they know that the book is on its way, that it's going to, uh, that it's going to happen. In my case, of course, the book's already finished. All I have to do is put it together and uh, send it to the printer for to create a, a one trade paperback volume. Um, Second uh, bit of advice I would give is reach out to other comic creators, uh, other people who are running Indiegogo campaigns. Uh, they will be usually more than happy to help you. Uh, one of the things that's really impressed me about the online community that I'm part of, Comicsgate, I know they have like a reputation for being oh, Nazis, but trust me, they're not. I'm as liberal as they are. I should say, I should say I'm a, as left as they come. I'm way left of your average Democrat. I'm a Democratic Socialist, a registered member of the Green Party. Uh, I'm someone that believes in social justice with a small S and a small J, not the large, the capital S J. You know. Uh, They are a really wonderful group of people. They've been very, very kind to me. Uh, and they've um, helped me immensely. Um, Antonio Bryce had me on his, uh, on his live stream. Uh, Clint from Sweetcast, he had me on his live stream to uh, pimp my book. Um, they're generally people who want to see other people succeed. And there is that real sense of camaraderie there. Now, that's something I think that is indispensable. Now, just because I'm part of CG, that doesn't mean that you have to be. You might be a uh, social justice warrior. Okay, find a, uh, a, a, a group of social justice warriors that are putting comics together. I support the idea of SJWs creating their own art because if they're you know like steven universe you know uh because if sjw's are creating their own art that means they're going to spend less time telling people like me what to do and uh what to uh put in and uh, what to take out of my comics which is not something i personally appreciate 
but if you're an SJW, I mean, I, you know, I, I, tr SJW is driving me crazy, but I don't, uh, but I don't, but I don't hate you. Uh, uh, hate is, uh, spiritual poison. So I try to abstain from it as much as possible, but anyway, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, di I'm digressing. Um, I would say also another important thing is to stay positive and avoid the negative. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. You are going to have to put a ton of work into uh, creating your Indiegogo campaign, into promoting your Indiegogo campaign, and also, of course, into creating the comic, which is the most important thing. Uh, make sure that you're working with people who are positive. Um, try to surround yourself with positive people. Negative people, they're not always necessarily bad people, but sometimes you need to keep them at arm's length unless they, you know, suck the life out of you uh, and uh, drag you down. Um, the positive brings to it the positive, and the negative brings to it the negative. Uh, basic fundamental law of the universe, at least um, I discovered. Um, third, uh, hire a professional artist. You don't want your cam, you don't want your book to look amateurish. If you're an amateur, that's fine, but you don't want to look like an amateur. Um, there are the comics industry is in real dire straits right now. Uh, it's 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 bad. Sales are plummeting. Comic book stores are closing across the country. It's uh, really uh, apocalyptic, in a way. Um, you would think with, you know, all the Marvel movies and everything that the comic book industry would be booming, but it's not because, of course, Marvel and DC decided to go full SJW and turn every single comic into a uh, identity politics uh, political screed. And uh, so there are plenty of artists out there who are looking for work. Now, uh, the artist that I work with, uh, Adrian Sibar, from beautiful Buenos Aires, Argentina. Um, wonderful, wonderful guy, incredibly talented artist. Um, I don't pay him what, he, what he's worth. And uh, I know that, and he knows that because I told him so right to his face at the uh, New York Comic Con. Um, I wish I could pay him more. Uh, pay your freelancers as best as you can make sure that you tell them up front what the job is and what they'll be getting and um you know uh, uh pay them promptly too uh freelancers hate to have to wait or hunt you down to get their to get their dough for the work that they've done for you so uh you know be kind to your freelancers it's another piece of advice i guess i would give um Another important thing is to be passionate. If you're not passionate about your project, if you're not passionate about your comic, how are you going to get other people to be passionate about your comic? Answer is you ain't. Um, you're going to want to make sure that your project is something that you can be passionate about in the long term because this is something that may potentially uh, take up um, weeks, months, uh, maybe even years of your life. So make sure it's something that you three, four years from now are still going to be psyched about. That's going to help you with promotion uh, uh, for one thing. But also, um, you know, uh, don't make a comic book because you are trying to create something that is a promotional item to try to get a movie made. Don't do that. It ain't going to happen. Um, the only reason that you should be making comics is because you love comics and you have your, a passion in your heart and that you have a story that's inside you that's just clawing at your guts trying to get out. That's what you want to do. That's the kind of project you want to put your blood, sweat, and tears into. 
um, because you are going to be investing a great deal of time and a great deal of uh, of uh, should not be getting you know getting a movie made uh or creating a valuable ip it should be to create something that um people are gonna love and something that you're gonna love um and make sure that it is something that you love because at the end of the day that may be all that you're uh, that you're left with if you try to play the market sell out and do whatever is like trendy at the moment you know, that trend could change very, very quickly, very, very easily, uh, you know, and be over and done with by the time your work comes out. So uh, make sure that it's something uh, you feel uh, very, very passionate and strong about. Uh, Six Gun Gorilla, for instance, uh, is, you know, a, a Western with a gorilla. I love Westerns. I love uh, love gorillas. So <laughs> it's like peanut butter and uh, and chocolate for me. Uh, what else would I say? Uh, be personable, but don't be personal. Your backers, they don't want to hear about your problems. They want their books. So they don't want to hear any sob stories. Uh, if you're going through some difficult times in your life, I, I know I am right now. It's been a, uh, um, a very, very hard year for me. Um, but you know, no, nobody wants to hear that. Um, you know, save it for your shrink, save it for your, uh, for your friends. Um, don't, uh, don't try to, uh, lay stuff on your backers or potential backers. Cause then it's going to sound like, you know, you're begging like, Oh, Oh, woe is me. Please, please give me your money. That's just a bad idea. It's, you know, even if it were successful, it would be a, a pretty cruddy way to go to, uh, to go about things, I think. Um, I guess uh, right now that's pretty much all I can think of. If you like this video, you like this content, uh, click the subscribe button. Uh, also, once again, check out the link down there for uh, the campaign for uh, Six Gun Gorilla, uh, Long Day is a Vengeance. And uh, I will hopefully uh, see you soon, or you will see me soon. So until then, uh, peace, love, and soul. Bye-bye, everybody.